All right, here we are back again with another video, and today we're going to uh, look at a TechCrunch. And uh, it's uh, TechCrunch. Uh, I hate to say it out loud, but it's going to be one of my favorite maps. And the reason that TechCrunch is one of my favorite maps is almost, almost. I say almost because nothing's a hundred percent, but almost one hundred percent of the time. Can you do uh, TechCrunch uh, with no boost? I don't need a troop damage boost, and I don't need a GBE boost. And I can solo tech crunches up to a deep cut. Uh, but there are a few exceptions. Uh, every now and then, those exceptions are these two. Sometimes these two flamethrowers that you see right here at 6 o'clock of the core could be rockets. Or you could have a rocket uh, here on the north side of the core. Now that, uh, that changes the dynamic a little bit to where you're going to need a little bit of a boost, uh, GBE boost, to cover some extra smokes and shocks that you otherwise wouldn't need. And also sometimes over here, uh, over here on the left you'll have uh, two or three rockets, usually three rockets, uh, uh, as part of these left side defenses. And whenever there's, uh, whenever there's rockets over here, then I'll also need a little bit of a... Uh, of a GBE boost to handle some extra smokes and shocks to, because you have to take them out before you go. But otherwise, this is a standard tech crunch, and this is tech crunch on a curtain call. And uh, we will solo it here in a moment, you'll see. And it's and, and this is the same for all tech crunches that don't have the, the extra rockets in these places that I'm telling you. And I see these rockets maybe one out of 15... 15 times I see tech crunch do I see these extra rockets so it's uh, not that big of a deal and uh, here we have a we have a hot landing so I think uh, this one I, I maybe boosted a masterpiece just for because I want to need three extra smokes than I would no four extra smokes than what I would normally need but uh, pretty much the, the plan for 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 tech crunch is almost uh, always going to be the same which we'll look at right here you're going to do a beach run so you're going to flare here and do a beach run and your first flare is going to be over here in this corner off the beach uh, let's get the pan back but the first uh, the first flare off the beach yeah, come on scroll is going to be down here in this corner now once you do that the range of this bottom mortar is uh is going to be about yeah, my pen is not well, it's going to be about right in here so whenever i flare over here when my when my girls are almost to this flare i will throw my uh first smoke right here and then flare to this point well that's where i do you can flare to either one of these points it works but this uh the, these uh uh, pretty much accomplish the same thing. It's just sometimes if you use this position right here and you don't have all your girls past this point, it's possible some of them go to the right of this mortar, uh, which you, 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 you don't want. So almost almost always will I make my, uh, let's get rid of this, I will make it right here. And smoke, smoke, and once they all get to right here, my next flare will be in this corner. And all your girls will travel down here nicely. And then finally back here in this corner where you're going to kill from. And like I think I mentioned on a gambit or something too, it'll save you a little bit of GBE to throw your last smoke right here. And as your girls are about to come out of the smoke, then you throw a shock up here for these. Don't throw the additional one or two smokes and let them come down here and wait and wait for the, wait for the uh, smoke to dissipate and then throw your shocks. Just just. Throw your shock right before they come out of the smoke, so they come out fighting. It saves you a lot of time in uh, GBE also. So let me back out of here and let's look at it in real time and see if it uh, see if it goes down the way I said it did. <laughs> All right, and let's go find it again and look at our tech crunch in real time. Yeah, I have a 168% uh, uh, GBE boost, so I just boosted my masterpiece for the hot landing.
first flare, just as we said in the corner. And now as they're approaching the flare, I'll throw the smoke, but right before they get there, and then reflare up to that corner. And now the you see the additional flare in the other corner we were talking about. Now smoke and flare to the final corner. And I'll probably throw one more smoke, I think. Maybe two. No, I'm sure I just threw this one smoke. And you'll see as I'm about to come out of the smoke, now I'll just throw the shock. And shock the defenses. So they come out shooting. One more shock to uh, hold it down long enough to get the shock launcher. And once you do that, now it's done. This is, this is a done tech crunch. Unless you use a thumb flare and make some horrendous, stupid mistake. Uh, now it's just sitting here, pounding on the core. We'll increase it to times four because that's all it is. Just pounding on the core. And this is TechCrunch. Any TechCrunch that you see, I've done this. I can do this unboosted also on uh, TechCrunches on uh, Deep Cut whenever there's no hot landing or the rockets in the positions that we talked about earlier. All right, well, hope that helps. Take it easy.